So on this account, I've been playing as a fishman for quite some time. And I think it's just about time for us to get an upgrade. So yeah, currently I am a fishman V2. I actually ended up getting fishman V2 not that long ago. And I gotta say, I quite like it. The ability to just get around the water pretty easy is actually quite nice. Now, even though I already have V2, let me quickly explain how you get yourselves any race to be V2. So first off, you have to be at least level 850. And then you're gonna find yourself this man right here, the alchemist. When you talk to him, he's gonna tell you that you need to get yourself three flowers. Red, blue, and yellow. Now, the yellow one is the easiest one to get out of all. All of them. It just randomly drops when killing enemies. But the red and blue is gonna be a little bit more tricky. They randomly spawn around the map. Now, first off, the red flower can spawn in five different locations. Its first location is right here next to this quest. The second location is right here in front of the gravity boss. Actually, that's right there where it spawned. The third spawning location is right here in the middle of this rock. The fourth location is right here in the flower beds next to the mansion. And the fifth location is right here next to this pink building, uh, right in between this and the bridge. Then next up for the blue flower, we also have five spawning locations. All right, for the first blue flower, we wanna go here to the spawn area. We wanna turn around and go that direction for the first location. So the first spawn location is right here behind this rock. Then we wanna cross the spawn area once again and head to the island on the other side. All right then, and in here, we're gonna find the second flower location. So there's actually a bit of a hole right here that you wanna find. It's a bit hard to find actually, but right there, you actually find yourself the second flower location. And luckily for me, the flower is there. Keep in mind, these are all random. Then we wanna just pass on to the graveyard island right there, because right here on this graveyard, we have spot number four. And then if we move on all the way around the back right here, here we have spot number five. And that right there is how you can get yourself every single one of the flowers. Now, once you've done that, you're gonna go back, talk to the guy, and he will give you race V2 for 500,000 money. All right, then let's move on to race V3. So to be able to do this, you gotta be at least level one thousand and actually you need to have killed the swan you've got to get, have completed the entire swan quest line which i have done i did that in the last video so if i'm not mistaken we should now actually be able to do this so so yeah the way you get to race v3 right here we're behind the big tree and i think we just walk through the wall somewhere here oh yeah okay right right here it is here it is here it is room we go th right through the wall and here we find this very strange peculiar room now there's one lock um don't 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 do anything okay um you can buy the kilo fruit for 96 7 robux don't do it it's terrible and then uh, you can talk to arrow uh, <laughs> and uh, this is actually the race v3 part so greetings sir let's begin what i am arrow son of rip indra train those legs fortunate to a channel for hidden strength hidden strengths yes child i know this must be confusing to you but i have been sent here by the gods to teach those who seek wisdom in order to make their race ability stronger. I'm interested. Talk to me again once you've defeated a sea beast. So yeah, guys, to be able to actually awaken uh, the, the fish man race, you got to kill yourself a sea beast. Now, oh, this is going to be a bit tricky because uh, I have no one to help me. I'm going to have to do this all by myself. And I don't really have the best fruit for farming sea beasts. I have a uh, Buddha. <laughs> But uh, you know what? I've never said no to a bit of a challenge. Now, one thing that is going to be very challenging and kind of problematic is how my stat points are right now. I only have 600 defense. I thought it'd be fun to fully max out my melee. So yeah, I can kind of only do these three moves right here that will uh, deal damage. <laughs> All right, then now to be able to get a C beast, we're going to head out to C. Make sure at the top, a little thing pops in that says C and then we are just going to have to wait. All right, let's hope I get lucky and this doesn't take forever. No! Come on, man. I don't want no blech. Socks. Ah, stupid boats. All right, this boat is definitely going to break before I can do any damage here. <laughs> yeah, these are going to despawn for sure. Try to see if I can tank some hits. Ugh. 10 HP, come on. Okay, they okay, they despawn. Well, now I'm just stranded in the ocean. Come on, man. Are you kidding me? Okay, I killed one boat. Uh, whatever. Ah, my boat freaking sunk again. Ah, oh, come on, man. Can't I get a little bit lucky? Oh, yes! The sea beast has spawned! All right, here we go. So we only have three abilities to be able to do this. Now, luckily, we are doing quite a bit of damage, but oh my goodness me, this thing is gonna be tough. <laughs> now, I am currently transformed into a Buddha because we get some damage negation with that. You know, we don't take quite as much damage, which in turn should mean our low amount of health, which is very low, only 3,600, um, isn't gonna be quite as big of a deal. And funnily enough, 
I think the most important reason that this is not going to go poorly is because we actually have fish, man. We can swim in the water without taking any damage. Oh, boy. Come on. Okay, he's currently at... Oh, uh, he's, not, he's not taking that much damage. Oh, he's more... He still has more than half his health left. Okay, come on. Okay, he's about halfway right now. He's about halfway. Okay, let me stand on my boat, guys. Uh, fun fact, if you actually stand on your... Or sorry, if you're in the water, you can't do many double jumps. But the moment you stand on land, your double jumps get reset. So let's say I'm out, which is really annoying. They get reset by standing on land. I'm trying to show this off without dying. This is a bad idea. Okay, I'm going to get back to just killing this sea beast, man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> come on, please. Please. Ah! Okay, 26k health left. Oh, we're just about halfway. Ah, so much damage. Oh, this thing is so strong. Okay, 14k. He has 14k health. I have about 900. Oh, this is not looking good for me. Oh, I missed my attack. Oh, shoot. Come on, 11k health. Ah, seven. Ah, come on. Okay, dude, he's about to die. He's about to die. Come on, one more attack and he should be down. Die. Yes. Wait, no. Okay, guys, so I forgot to explain the most important criteria when it comes to getting raised v3. Seriously, I waited half an hour for one. I get a second one right after. Well, uh, I can't fight you right now. Uh, it's that you don't leave the server. And yeah, guys, I, I left the server earlier without talking to the guy again to reactivate the quest. And I just now remembered... <laughs> But I forgot to talk to the guy, so I didn't get race v3. Uh, yeah, guys, let me let me uh let me talk to the guy and let me get back to what I was doing. Oh, I'm such a moron. All right, uh, hello. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's begin. Ah, oh, you haven't you completed your order yet? Okay, yeah, I got I got to do it again. Crap. Oh, finally, finally, finally. Okay, I should now finally be able to actually get what I've been looking for. <laughs> All right, now I've done this before, so I don't think I need to be all too scared right here. Come on, we're almost there. He has like, yeah, 11K left. I think if we do every single attack, we will have beat him. Oh, I just went underwater. Dang it. Come on, one more attack. One more attack. Ah, and there it is. Okay, finally. <laughs> <laughs> we should now be able to claim ourselves Fishman V3. Wait, right away we get a boat spawn? I don't want to fight the boats. The boats suck. All right, let's head back to the big tree and get ourselves what we deserve. All right, then here we go now. Oh, this is gonna... Uh, I already know what's gonna happen here, guys. Uh, sir, well done. I, like many toads before me, have used this gift of mine to teach others. Of course, though, I charge a cheap price for my craft. Two million gold. I only have 4.5 right now, and I'm gonna spend two of those to awaken my race. But dude, look at that. We finally have ourselves the water body ability, which is actually ex ah! extremely useful in PvP. I get to try it right away it ha it gives you a lot of damage negation so this guy right here that's trying to kill me very badly cannot deal nearly as much damage come on i'm just gonna skaboink him oh my goodness me okay i'm dead dude. this guy's like max level still was not able to kill me immediately though so yeah there's that but yeah pretty much the fishman raves gives you damage negation so as you guys can see this guy's dealing barely any damage as he's trying to hit me and it is super good for like getting out of combos if someone's trying to like combo the heck out of you well you can just simply activate it and the combo kind of breaks very 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 good stuff so yeah guys other than the obvious aesthetical changes like the you know the new fins that we have on the sides of our arms that right there is everything v3 has to offer v3 fish is honestly right behind mink probably my favorite race in the game because i hate getting comboed so yeah <laughs> Now that we have this one, we're going to have to save up for a long time to be able to afford another race reroll from Tort. 